This bill is a is a milestone opportunity for us. Uh, it has all the tools you'd want in the toolbox to help the Commonwealth do both, as, as uh, Representative Honan talked about, um, invest in our public housing infrastructure, but it's also got a ton of tools in it to help us create private-public partnerships and to support private housing development, to do workforce housing, to do supported housing, to do uh, affordable housing, and to build on uh, the legacy that we've established here in the Commonwealth. This is a great day for our Commonwealth when we can all come together in collaboration, focused on common goals, and get the work of the people done. I just want to thank uh, the co-chairs of the committee, uh, Representative Honan and Senator Boncori. They did an amazing job working through the details, gathering everyone's input, and doing this in a way that was constructive, productive, and I just join with all of you to say job well done. Thank you both very much. The housing bond bill gives us the tools that we need and certainly uh, it's not lost on us that we also have a housing choice bill that is really important for us to work with the legislative leaders here to see that that gets done. I really want to thank the governor. Uh, he has made housing a priority. We all know that it's very difficult for working men and women in our Commonwealth and recent graduates to stay here and to drive our economic engine. We need to capture that brain power and we need to do it by, with affordable housing. This is such an extraordinary expense for people. So this bond bill will help the working men and women of our Commonwealth. By signing this bill, the governor and lieutenant governor can message to the Commonwealth what they've been messaging to the legislature for this past session. There is a tremendous need for housing. Massachusetts is really a victim of our own success. We do have the best uh, higher education institutions. We have the best uh, biotech in the country. We have the best hospitals in the country. And so many want to come here. And it's put a strain on our affordable housing. And the governor understands that. The governor, by filing this bill and the housing choice bill, which I'm hoping will take up shortly, has signaled that he wants to get this done, that he wants to continue Massachusetts's uh, success of ec econo ep economic prosperity. And housing choice is great, and we can get all the zoning reform we, we want to get done done. But if we don't fund it, if we don't found, fund the production, the preservation of housing, then it's all for naught. And that's what this bill does.